Hi, in today's video you will learn how to make a complete marketplace website using Wolfis just like freelancer.com, afford.com or fiverr.com and this website will have all the features that are necessary for running a marketplace websites like we will be having jobs, apply for the job we have login and sign up and front-end dashboards for the employer as well as for the freelancer and this is an all-in-one solution for a marketplace website and don't worry if you don't have the coding knowledge this website doesn't need coding we will be creating this website just by drag and drop using elementor page builder and as i said we will be having front-end dashboards for managing the website as you can see here and we will be having messages system that we can send private messages to the freelancer or employer and we also have bookmarks and notifications as you can see here we have job alerts and we can also edit the job alerts like we can edit them we can change the status so on we can also manage the jobs and we can also edit these jobs we can show more details then we can edit the jobs and we can add notes to the jobs we can change the status of the job and so on obviously we can also submit a job and for which employer or freelancer can apply we have company's profile that we can manage and we can also add a new company and for the candidate we have a built-in resume system so we can add a resume and then employer can view our resume and obviously we can manage our own profile so we can change our first name last name and password and so on so this is the website that we will be creating in this video as you can see we have a menu here and then we have home page layouts so this is the first layout that you see here and if you don't like this one then we can change the layout to any of these that i'll show you later and then we have some for candidates like we can browse jobs and browse job page have this layout and browse companies browse categories i'll show you one by one this is for the employers and all the other pages like job page job alternative page resume page and so on and obviously we have login and register that open a pop-up and in the first section you can see a powerful search bar this is ajax search bar you can search for job title you can search for a specific city or zip code and you can also search for a specific category and obviously you can put your own categories here then if you scroll down these are the popular categories you can display some categories over here and you can link to all the categories and then we have recent jobs as you can see for which we can apply and if you want to read more about a job you can just click on that this will open that job with a detailed page for which we can apply here or we can add this to our bookmark like enough work we save a project to our favorites let's go back and this is another section where you can display some features of the website this is the testimonial section so you can display some testimonial here and these are the normal blog posts that are available in every website then we have this section as you can see this is a call to action and these are some job listing resume posted so these are some statistic and we have a footer with some nice navigation effects and obviously a sign up form and as i said you can change this layout like we need another home page so you can click on this and we can have something like this as you can see a job title location and all categories and then we have this type of categories here and these are the feature companies and so on i'll forward this link in the description so you can check all the demos and all the pages that are available in this theme now let me show you how we can make the website and then how we can customize this website based on our needs and now by creating any type of website you must need a domain name and hosting domain name is your website name just like google.com or facebook.com and hosting is an online storage where your website files will be stored now there are multiple platforms available that will provide you hostings the one i would suggest is hostinger.com and you can go with all these like bluehost hostgator dreamhost and so on and also there is a discount link in the description which will take you to hostinger.com where you can get a hosting and a free domain for one year once you have a domain and hosting then you will have to install wordface on that i have videos about how to install wordface on hostinger.com you can watch those videos and in this video i'm using namecheap hosting for a client and this is a namecheap hosting dashboard to install wordface in the namecheap you can just log into your namecheap account then you can scroll down 
and here you can select the domain name that you want to install WordPress on. In this case, I'm using this one. So to install WordPress, I'll go to its cPanel. So just hover over here and go to its cPanel. And this is the control panel for the website where we can install WordPress, we can manage our SSL, and we can create email accounts, and we can access our databases, and so on. So to install WordPress, you can just click on App Installer here. And here you will see a number of applications that you can install. Now we need WordPress, so we'll click on Install. And if you have multiple domain names, then you can select your domain name here. And don't try it anything in the directory because we want our website directly on the domain name. Here you can choose the WordPress version. The latest version will be fine. And here you can do some more settings like you can change your website name. So I'll write WordNut. And for the description, I'll write and this is just an example you can write your website name and description this is the admin username so i'll change this also and uh, we'll change the admin password and we will also change the admin email then we'll scroll down and here you can choose your website language you can install uh, plugins like these and these are some advanced options where you can change your database name database table prefix but you don't need this and here you can choose a theme but we will install another theme so let's just click on install and that's it congratulations the software was installed successfully here we can visit our website or we can log into our admin dashboard so let's click on this and this is the wordpress dashboard where we can install theme and plugins and we can start making our website and before that let's do some quick setups so we will go to appearance themes and we will delete unnecessary themes like this one and this one we will also delete this one after installing a new theme because we need to keep only one theme here then we can go to plugins and we don't need these plugins so I'll select all and we'll delete these this is just to make things simple and clean and now to make a website like this, we will have to install this theme. This is a work scout theme. To install this theme, you can just go to this link, softexpert.fk slash work scout. This link will also be in the description. So just click on that. And this will take you to this page. Here you can see work scout job board wolf is theme. This is the price of the theme. And you can also check its live review. If you scroll down, and if you scroll down, you will learn more about this theme like we have front end dashboard as I said. We can integrate various type of maps like Google map, Bing map, so on. We have on the fly loaded jobs like this and all these features. So to get this theme, you just need to click on add to cart. And you can go to checkout. And here you can make an account on Inveto Market if you don't have. Or you can just continue with your Gmail. And if you already have an account, you can click on sign in. And after login, you can select your payment method like you can pay with Visa, Mastercard, or PayPal or Skrill. So let me quickly pay this amount and then click pay securely. And as you can see, payment completed. Now we can go to our downloads page. And here you can see we can download this theme now. So to download this theme, you can click on this. And here you can download an installable file for WordPress. Just click on this and you will get a zip file like this so just download this let's close this and we also need to download its license so you can download its license in pdf or in text so let's choose pdf this is the license so just download this and that's it so this is how you can get the theme and then you can download the theme now we will just need to upload this theme to our wordpress dashboard and for that let's go to our dashboard and here we will go to appearance and themes and we'll click add new and upload theme we'll choose file and we'll select the file that we just downloaded so let's go to desktop and we downloaded this and after download you will get a file like this so just click on this click open and install now this will start installing the theme then you can click activate to activate the theme and after that this will open up a welcome wizard you can just click on let's go 
The first thing is license activation. So as I said, we can download its license here from the theme forest. This one. So let me quickly fill this. And as you can see, item purchase code. So we need this code. I'll just copy this. And we'll paste it here. And we'll write my email. And then activate license. And thank you for activating work scout license. Again, let's go. And in the next step, as you can see, we can install WP Job Manager add-ons. These are available in this theme also. And if you want, you can buy your own. And here you can choose this one. I want to install WP Job Manager add-ons bundled with Work Scout. And we will activate its license later. So let's go. And these are the plugins necessary for running this theme properly. As you can see, installation required, installation required. And here if you scroll down, you can just click on continue to install all of these plugins. So let's click continue. And this will start installing plugins one by one. Let's wait for this. After installing all the plugins, this will take you to the next step where you can import the demo data. So let's scroll down. Here you can choose the items that you need and the items that you don't need. I'll suggest to select all of these and then click continue. Now this will start importing the demo data. Let's wait for this. Then this will take you to theme customization where you can just click continue to install its child theme. This is the help and support. You can agree and continue. And that's it. Your website is ready. We can view our website and we can go to our dashboard. So let's go to our dashboard first. Now we have some issue in the Elementor. You just need to begin activating the plugin. You can scroll down and select both of these and click activate apply and that's it now if i open this website in a new tab you can see that i got all the data including the logo all the pages and navigations uh, and the search categories the jobs this section obviously we can put our own images because those images have copyright issues and all the data we can navigate through the pages and we can check all of these info. So this was how you can make the website with the demo data. Now let me quickly show you how you can customize things that we need because we have to put our own logo, we have to put our own pages and all the data. So the first thing is if you want to edit the front page and any of the page, you can just open that page and click on edit with Elementor. These pages are built with Elementor. You can make changes to these pages just by drag and drop. Let me quickly show you. If I want to change this page, I can click this. And this will open up Elementor Page Builder, which is the most easiest and powerful page builder for WordPress. You can make a website just by drag and drop. And let me show you how. So this is the first section. If I want, I can edit this. I can go to its style and can give this a background, like a background color, background image, gradient, video, down and slide show we can also change these using elementor you can click this for example this is showing eight categories if i want i can increase and decrease the number of categories here i can only show the top terms job listing and so on now i would suggest you to go to my channel and watch my elementor tutorials about this that how you can make changes to the website using elementor and for other changes like the job and the job categories you can just go to your dashboard and here you can find things like companies, job listings, job applications, resumes, and so on. Let's say I want to make changes in the job listings, so I can go there. Let's hide these notices. And here you will see all of the jobs. So this is the job position, the job type, locations, posted date, closing date, so on. So if you want to add a new job, you can just click on add new and you can change the job. Or you can edit a specific job, just click on date or you just click edit icon. And here we can make changes to this specific job. If I scroll down, I can change the job posted date. I can select a company for this. We can change the company name, the company tagline, the locations, job application, job email, and so on. Just click anywhere, change this thing, and then click update. And this is how you can make changes to a particular job. Let's go back. And here you can add a new job. Obviously, you can change the job regions like the locations, you can make changes to job categories, job types like full-time, freelance, internship. You can add job tags, settings. You can do specific settings and add-ons. 
I'm not going in much detail because these things are simple and if you want a particular videos about any of these component then you can comment down below and I'll try to make another video about that. Here you can make changes to companies and so on. And inside the core settings of this theme you can change the currency here. And here you can change the currency position, the decimal points after the currency, the private messages, the private messages contact candidate and obviously you can change your page builder to WP Bakery. You can go to map settings and here you can put your map API key and here you can automatically locate the user on page load. For that you will have to use your map API key and here you can change your map style, the region and all of these. And inside registration you can enable force front end login and you can choose the pop-up or a separate page so the pop-up looks good if I click this this is a pop-up and lastly if you want to change the logo and the navigations you can go to customize and here you can go to site identity you can change your site title the tagline and you can upload your own logo here so just click on this and drag and drop a file here like your logo then select it and this will change the logo you can go back you can go to header options and you can enable full width header and you can display login and sign up buttons so this was it for this video this was just to show that how you can make a marketplace website using Wolfface to give you an idea about the theme and the plugins that you need obviously you can make changes to this website based on your needs i hope you have learned something new in this video if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next